hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project food delivery app that is a online food ordering system using the android app and i have developed this project <coughs> in android studio and for database i am using the mysql and this is an api driven project so for api development i have used the php right so for developing this design the application and writing the android code i have used android studio and this is the native android app and i have used the java for writing all of the android codes and the designing of the screens right so these technology stacks i have used for developing this project right so let's start with the functionality go through so the project title is online food delivery app or you can see online food ordering system using the android right so there are two interfaces i have designed here right the first one is the android app which is for customer this customer can download the android app and after that he can register he can log in he can see the menu options he can add the items into the cart he can see the details of the items and after that he can make the payment and he can see the order details right after uh, making the order after the purchasing of the food right and there is an admin panel also where i have developed uh, all of the admin operations like adding the food items seeing the order details right adding the categories changing the banners so these functionalities i have developed in admin panel so the front end app has been developed in android means the customer side interface has been developed in android and the admin side interface i have developed in php and mysql right so let's start with the functionality go through i'm going to explain each and every part which i have developed inside this project the online food delivery app right so i'm reloading this right so let me show you so i have reloaded it using this run app and you can see this is the splash form where i have used this logo and the text right so once this splash form loads then you will get the dashboard right this is the home right you can see the categories so all the categories are coming here you can see all of the categories are here so there is a banner you can see there is a banner on the home page right means home screen so this banner is dynamic right if you want to change the banner then you can change it from that bin and this category is also dynamic so there are five categories coming here right so if you want to add more categories then you can add it from admin panel so i have added fives but if you can add any number of category from the admin panel right you can upload the image you can add the uh, category name there okay so let me show you the login menus so there are two types of navigations right the, this is the navigation without user login means if user doesn't have the login right then this option will be displayed means home shop by category register login and about us but it will be changed means navigation pane will be changed according to the user login right so if user login then it will be different right let me show you so let me go through one by one menu this is the home right again so by category the same <coughs> is the category and then register so this is the registration screen from where you will be able to register so this is a uh, photo you can take the snap or you can use it from uh, gallery right okay so you can put your full name and after that uh, you can put your email password address and the phone number right you can put all of things there right and after that you can click on the sign up button once you click on the sign up button the details will be saved and you will be able to register using the email id and password right okay so this is the registration this is a login so if you have the login uh, credentials means if you have already registered on the website then you can log in using that user id and password right and the last one is the about so once you click on the about then this is the food delivery app right it's about the app right you can change it from the about uh, uh, xml right 
so now i am going to order some of the menu so once you click on the category you will get all of the menu options here right so you can see this is the items and once you click on the items you will be able to get the details of the food items right so you can see that you can select the quantity here and you can add to cart once you click on the add to cart then system will check you have login or not if you have not login then it will ask your user id and password means email and password so i am login as a amit at the gmail.com and password is one two three four five six so once you log inside the system then you can see the menu here right so means home shop by category my cart my account so this navigation pane has been changed right so this is the my cart so your cart is empty now right if you click on the my account then you will be able to see your account details right you can see my cart my orders right once you click on the my orders then you will be able to see all of the orders right so once you click on the orders you will be able to see all of the order items with details and the status there right and then this is the about us already explained you right now i am going to order some of the food items see this milk i am going to order two this is add to cart it's saying that you are have added and now i am going to lunch and this one biryani and i have added two plates okay now i want to see the items inside the cart just click on the items you will be able to see there are two items if you want to delete then you can delete from here delete button right if you want to delete it just click on the delete right that items will be deleted right if you want to add more right then you can so there is no nothing here in the dinner so i have added this one fried rice add to cart right oops right so you have already added into the cart so this one uh, i am going to add some more products here right so this one yeah x right add to cart right so i have added two items inside the cart and i am clicking on the confirm order or continue shopping so once you click on the confirm order then it will ask your it will fetch all of your details from your registration and there are two payment options cash on delivery or mastercard once you click on the confirm order then it the payment option will be set to the cash on delivery if you click on the mastercard then you need to put your card details here right so i am putting it here okay so i'm putting it here any number right so this one okay so once you click on that done then you can see your order has been placed successfully and this is your last order right once you click on it oh sorry i think uh, it's not uh, the first one right so you can see the order items are here and it's uh, in progress right so admin can log inside the system and change the order status here right okay so this is the customer functionalities now i am going to log in on the admin site right so this is the admin functionality right so user id is admin and password is test once you log inside the admin you can see there are three orders right and total sale is 630 rupees right so let me go through one by one so this is the banners all of the banners which was showing on the home page or here right you can see there are three banners here right you can edit you can add from here this is orders all of the orders right you can set the order details here on the way and once you click on the this then it will be updated right this is the products all of the products which is available will be displayed here so this is the categories and all the category and these are the products right all the products uh, which has been added by you will be displayed here right you can edit and update the details here right so you can see this is the edit form and you can update the product form from here right so this is the admin form and i have all of this admin application in uh, php and mysql and the android application this android application i have developed in uh, android right using the android studio right <clears throat> okay so you can see this is on the way 
and the logo has been changed according to the on the way right so you can see the status has been changed because admin has changed it from the admin panel right so this all functionalities i have developed inside the project and if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements right and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much